Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be covering the high voltage, low voltage reset for the Fisker Ocean. It's also known as a hard reset where I have to disconnect the high voltage battery pack and the low voltage 12 volt battery. And that is needed sometimes to do certain resets on the vehicle when there's some problems that can't be fixed by a regular steering wheel reset or a deep sleep reset. So I'm going to go over those seven steps. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to be using today for this project. To open the hood, you're going to need a plastic pry bar. Here is the ratchet wrench. This is the one that I recommend getting in my emergency toolkit 2.0. It's very compact and handy. Comes with a bunch of little accessories. I also purchased a 13 millimeter magnetic socket with this extension on it so I can attach it. And then this is nice because you can store this behind the service lid if you ever have to open your hood. So this is what we're going to be using for opening the hood. For the next step, we're going to need either two combo wrenches, a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter, or you could use the kit with the ratchet that has those in it. So the 13 millimeter or the 10 millimeter. So those are going to be used under the hood to loosen either the 12 volt battery terminal or the grounding lead that is in the cowl area. So you can use either these two or these two to do that. Also, probably not bad to have some work gloves when you're working under the hood. So let's go out to the car and I'll show you the next steps. Step one, we're going to open the hood. Now we're in front of the car. We're going to remove the service lid right here. And now take out the two bolts that hold the hood in place. Take the two bolts and place them safely aside. Slowly open the hood. Make sure that you use the hinge lock so the hood stays in the up position. Unless you have the hood struts like I have here. Step number two is to disconnect the high voltage fireman's loop or first responders loop. There are two options for this. You can either disconnect the one that's under the hood and that's on the bracket that is over the 12 volt battery. I recommend doing the other option, which is the loop that is located in the cargo area on the right side of the trunk. I think that's a lot easier to disconnect than this one here. This one can be very tricky to pull out. Remove this panel that's just to the left of the outlets. You may need to use the trim tool to make it easier. Locate the first responder loop, which is this right here. There's a little clip right here that you pull up on and then this detaches. Pull on that and then pull it off. There we go. It is now detached. I'm going to place that aside. For step three, we have two different ways of disconnecting the negative from the battery. We can either do it at the negative terminal under here. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket or combination wrench. The other option is to remove the grounding strap that is attached under the cowl area right here. You're going to need to have a 13 millimeter socket or combination wrench to remove that one. So that's your choice. You can either remove it at the battery or under the cowl. Here's a view of the grounding cable that comes out of the negative 12 volt battery terminal. It attaches right here. 
I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket or you could use a 13 millimeter combination wrench. Put it on the bottom of that bolt and turn it until you can remove it. Once that bolt is removed, you can take the connector right here, move it aside, make sure it doesn't touch anything metal. Step four is to wait 10 minutes for the car to reset. At that point, we have step five, where we connect the negative cable back to the 12 volt battery terminal or the grounding strap to the cowl area. So whichever one of those you had removed, you can now connect those again, make sure they are fully tightened. Step six is to reconnect the high voltage fireman's loop or first responders loop that is under the hood, either the one that is in this area right here, or the one that's in the trunk. Now I'm gonna take the fireman's loop and I'm going to attach this plug into the connector right there. I just need to line it up so that the clip on here matches up with the connector. push it all the way in and it snaps into place. Can now take this and push it in. Now I'm gonna take the cover and put it back on. Step seven, close the hood, attach the bolts and service lid. Well, that's it. I've shown you how to do the seven step process for doing the high voltage, low voltage reset or hard reset on the Fisker Ocean. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.